All aboard! Welcome to the Storytime Train. Please subscribe to enjoy more books read aloud. Dragon's Merry Christmas by Dave Pilkey Chapter 1 The Perfect Christmas Tree One cold morning, Dragon went out to find the perfect Christmas tree. He walked through the crunchy snow. He saw all sorts of trees, big ones, small ones, crooked ones, and straight ones. Finally, he found the most beautiful Christmas tree of all. It was not too big or too small. It was not too crooked or too straight. It was just right. Dragon looked down and saw the tree's beautiful brown trunk. It stood firm and strong in the frozen earth. He looked up and saw its beautiful green branches. They waved back and forth in the cold December wind. Dragon could not cut down such a lovely tree. Instead, he came back with colored lights, silver bells, and everything he needed to make his tree even more beautiful. That night, Dragon looked out at his Christmas tree shining in the night. It was truly perfect. Chapter 2 The Candy Wreath One day in December, Dragon had a good idea. I will make a wreath out of candy, he said. Dragon took some old wire and bent it into shape. Then he taped little pieces of chocolate candy all around it. When Dragon hung his candy wreath on the wall, one of the pieces of chocolate fell off. Dragon picked it up and ate it. It was very good. Dragon did not want his wreath to look bare, so he promised not to eat any more candy. I will eat only the pieces that fall off, he said. Dragon bumped his elbow against the wall and two more pieces of candy fell off. Whoops, he said, gobbling them up. Dragon sat down in his chair and looked up at his candy wreath. He tried not to think about the smooth, rich, sweet, creamy, dark chocolate candy. Dragon could not sit still. He began to drool. Suddenly, Dragon could not stop himself. He shook the candy wreath back and forth and then jumped up and down on it until every last piece of candy had fallen off. Dragon got a tummy ache from eating so much chocolate. Next year, said Dragon, I will make my wreath out of pine cones. Chapter 3 Mittens Dragon was always losing his mittens. No matter how hard he tried, he could never keep track of them. Whenever he needed them most, they were nowhere to be found. So Dragon went out and bought a pair of clip-on mittens. He clipped them to his coat sleeve so he would never lose his mittens again. Then he lost his coat. Chapter 4 Merry Christmas, Dragon! Dragon loved Christmas. Every year he saved his money, and every Christmas he bought wonderful presents for himself. Dragon made a list of things he would buy. Number 1. Lots of food. Number 2. A new coat. Number 3. A big birdhouse. Then Dragon wrapped himself up in a warm quilt and headed off to the store. When Dragon finished his Christmas shopping, the store clerk loaded everything into a big sack. On his way home, Dragon passed some raccoons singing in the street. The raccoons had no food to eat. They looked very hungry. Dragon reached into his sack and took out his big basket of food. 
Merry Christmas, said Dragon. Then he passed an old rhino shoveling her sidewalk. The rhino did not have a coat to wear. She looked very cold. Dragon reached into his sack and took out his new wool overcoat. Merry Christmas, said Dragon. Finally, Dragon saw two little birds sitting on a branch. The birds did not have a home to live in. They looked very sad. Dragon opened his big sack, took out his birdhouse, and hung it on a branch. Merry Christmas, said Dragon. When Dragon got home, his big sack was empty. There were no presents left for him, but Dragon did not feel sad. He went upstairs to his quiet room and crawled beneath his soft, warm quilt. And later as he slept, Dragon dreamed he heard angels singing in the starry night. The End Thanks for riding the Storytime train. Please subscribe for more reading adventures.